everyone, Mr. Break Time here with your my third video of my Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke challenge. And in the last episode, it was pretty interesting. My brother got me an Loudred named well, named this just for the revenge of me calling him a gloom and insulting him, so that'll teach me twice. And unfortunately, the other Pokemon he got me was a stinking Weedle. And he's still cheering about that over there. I can see him. Yeah. Hopefully I'll make up for this. Well, the bad part is, in the same grass as the Weedle, I could have caught a Jolteon. I could have caught a Venusaur. I could have got so many good pokes, but my brother had to encounter a little Weedle. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Well, it, getting on from this, I trained everyone to level 9 just to, to be on the safe side, because Roxanne's strongest Pokemon, I believe, is f 12 or 14. So, we'll get training. So, we're going to make our way through the Petalburg Woods right now. Alright. Eh, well, my, even though it has a different name, my Loudred's actually pretty powerful. It knows Uproar, Pound, Howl, and Astonish, which is not that bad. Even though Astonish is considered a special move in this gen because it's dark attribute. So, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to call it Loudred because I am not referring to the name that my brother gave it because it's just insulting. Yep. Oh, it looks like there's a little lag thing. Just hold on, guys. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Just had to fix a little lag thing. Now it's running smoother. Alright. Perfect. Alright. Yep. Perfect. Uproar. Loudred's a pretty scary Pokemon if you actually try and make it mad. It'll just keep loud, making so much damn noise that your ears will pop out of your... Ugh. So I'm pretty sure that none of the enemy wants to poke at my louder because then it'll just roar back and just beat the you know what out of them. Alright. Eh. Looks like you have kept l not insulted the great loudred, but the great loudred will still destroy you. Pound. Yep. And surprising, Loudred is now the strongest member of my team right now, but that'll soon be changed when I reach the gym, because then Tyranno will be my strongest. Out of all the Johto Pokemon, actually, Tyranno was what my favorite out of all three of them. Typhlosion is second to me, because I think Tyranno, I... Th think is very very good because of its very good like of it because of its bulkiness and its high attack strength and it because it's very very competitive now because of in dragon dance and then ice punch which is a transfer move if you plan to train a for alligator in sixth gen and combi like i said combine it with dragon dance and then waterfall and then crunch and then it's just an absolute beast so Tyranno. I'm really happy that I got Tyranno. Even though I would have preferred to also have Cyndaquil on my team, but my brother had to run into Loudred instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's why my brother's not in these episodes right now, because I'm pretty sure that he'll try and jinx me again. And... 
Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that no one dies so far, just to make sure. And who do we have here? Uh-oh, someone's lost. Oh. oh, it's that guy from the Devon building. And we all know what's happening. Alright. I'm not sure exactly what Pokemon that the enemy has, but uh, we'll lead off with Tyranno. He does need a bit of training. Alright. What's wrong, man? Hmm. Not one to be found. Oh, have you seen any Pokemon called Shrooms? Oh, okay. My bad. He's just searching for Pokemon. He doesn't get abducted until later. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's this? I was going to ambush you, but you had to dwaddle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? you? Got sick of waiting, so here I am. You Devon researcher. Oh, okay, now he's getting mugged. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, no you don't. Bring it on, Aqua. I dare you to come <laughs> cross this line. Yeah, I'm laying down the gauntlet for you. Come on, bring it on. I always loved the Team Aqua and Team Magma battle music. It's one of my top favorite musics. Because it's always that dramatic sound when you're going into combat. And whoa, he has a level 9 Poochiana. Wow. It's a good thing I trained everyone to level 9. Yep. Alright, go for Alligator. Water Gun. <laughs> the ironic thing is I'm using a water Pokemon to get rid of an Aqua Grunt. <laughs> oh, it's howling. Isn't that nice? It honestly thinks it can take me down. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'm just gonna water gun your face. Nice try, though. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow, it survived. Uh oh, now it's double howling. That's not good. Scratch. Yep, that's it. Aw, oh, Tyranno almost grew a level with that one battle. Yeah, kid beat you. Now go running back to your little... wherever you came from. The only Pokemon you have is a Poochiana, and yet... you're saying you're this badass trainer. And hey, we have Team Aqua are also after something in Respiro. Oh boy. Looks like that's not going to be the last we see of Team Aqua in this. Or the mysterious Team Magma later. I'll give you a great ball. Ooh, thank you. Nice. That'll help for me when I get go to the area above Rustboro and catch a new buddy there. But that'll probably be in the next episode. Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't, can't be wasting time. Uh-oh. Well, looks like we're going to go help the Devon researcher catch this bad guy just as soon as we take on the gym. Oh, a tie rogue. I could have caught a tie rogue. Uh, that would have been nice. Well, I would have tried to see what I would have evolved it into, either a Hitmonchan or a Hitmon Lee. Hmm. That's eh, okay. Tyranno, water gun. Oh boy. Alright, who should I fight this guy with? I'll fight him with Dylan. Since I'm not going to use Dylan in the gym battle, I may as well train him up. Yep, alright, fight me, Bugman. I do apologize if there is a lag spike. In the next episode, I will try and fix that. Alright. Oh, he has a Ninkata. What I always found interesting about Ninkata is that it could evolve into either Ninjask, or if you have that empty slot in your party, then it could evolve into a Shedinja. 
I never always got that. It's one of those Pokemon mysteries that you've always wondered about. It's like when you hatch a uh, baby Kangaskhan, the Kangaskhan already has a baby in its pouch. And all those many mysteries. Never got that. But Shedinja is a real beast. If you build him correctly. It's Wonder Guard basically can only let it be hit by super effective moves. And, as you know, it only has one HP. Mm. I've always wondered. Uh, I always wondered about that. But in the 6th gen, it can be deadly. Like, say, you give it the weather goggles to prevent from weather damage. And then give it the ability sturdy by using it in a triple battle in combination with your Pokemon. And then give it the, like I said, sturdy, and then it's got the weather goggles, and then you self-paralyze it so it can't be hit by a status move, and then Shedinja can just sit back and troll everyone to death. Which I find pretty awesome. Because I've actually seen that happen several times in Wi-Fi battles. And it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Alright, we big bug catcher James. I can't be popular if I lose. Well, true. Better luck next time, kid. Alright, let's see. Get you. What are you? Ooh, an ether. Ooh, that'll come in handy later. Uh-oh. Ran to another wild Pokemon. Okay, another Pokemon I could have caught in the wild was, uh... Oh, this is interesting. I could have had a Doug Trio. Uh oh, I'm lagging. Oh, there we go. Okay, lag's gone. Okay, Dylan is certainly. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have a death. I'm gonna have a death. Maybe. God dang. Doug Trio has the ability Arena Trap. My Macargo is stuck against this Doug Trio. Dylan, if you're watching this, please don't hurt me the next time I see you. Please. I apologize if you die now. <laughs> well, well, let's let's still believe in Macargo. Let's just pray to God Dugtrio doesn't have a ground move that will kill us. Please don't have a ground move. Oh, thank God. Okay, I take back what I said. It only is scratching me. And it burned itself. <laughs> oh, wow. I got a crit ember. And now it burned itself to death, thank god. Oh, that was scary. Uh, okay, Dylan, you live. Yay! Oh my god, that was so scary. Oh my god. And we all know in these trees is the item Miracle Seed, which I will give to my, uh, Gloom. Yeah, Route 104. This is still considered the route that I just caught um, my Weedle. So this does not count as a new area, unfortunately. I'll talk to you. I know what you give me. You give me the TM for Bullet Seed. Alright. Uh, looks like we're approaching that ending part of the episode, so... I'll just quickly battle a couple more trainers, and then uh, we're going to end the episode when we reach Rustboro City. Alright, let's just speed through these berry picking. Alright, let's go. Item. Oh, I got a Pokeball. Nice. Okay. Let's go here. Item? No. Oh, grass. Yeah, it's Route 104. It's basically the same grass as where I c caught a uh, Weedle. So this is going to be the same Pokemon I encounter. That I did in that grinding when you saw every all my team at around level 9. So, yeah, I could have caught a Barboche. Which is... Eh, but I already got Tyranno as my main water guy, so that doesn't phase me. Alright, item? No. Item? Alright, ooh, super potion. That'll come in handy. In case I battle my girlfriend 
May. Or the gym leader, in case her, um, I believe her nose pass is going to be a problem then. Because I believe it is around really, really high, so I have to train uh, Tyranno in the gym. Yeah, it's around, like, if I, rec I think I remember that it is around 15. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to head over here and battle these trainers, and when I reach rest bar, I'm going to end the episode. Alright, so, let's get... Uh, who should I send out next? Well, like I said, Tyranno and my Gloom are going to get spotlight in the Rock Gym, so I may as well keep Dylan and my Loudred in, because there's a double battle up ahead. Alright, talk to me, man. Sure. I have lots of money. Ooh, oh, okay. Aren't we a bit cocky today, are we? Rich boy Winston. And the best thing about these rich uh, trainers are, is when I get to challenge them for a rematch, they give me a lot of money. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, level 7 Zigzagoon. What are you going to do against a rock type? Yeah, I'm part rock. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, you're going to do nothing. That's what you're going to do. And get burned in the process. Alright. Uh, it still thinks it's going to defeat me. Oh, and a crit. <laughs> Insult to injury. Oh, boy. Poor Winston. Why couldn't I win? I got 1,400. Wow, that's a nice chunk of change. Nice. Oh, wow. She she chose me far away. Wow. That's a long shot. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I will battle. You will lose. But still, I appreciate any challenge. Last Haley sent out a lotad. Lotad. Eh. Well, it would be really cool in the next game of the latest uh, series, if you guys haven't heard of it already, but I bet you have, is Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. A lot of speculation is going into that uh, the final form of Lotad, Ludicolo, is going to get a Mega Evolution. I think that would actually be a step up for Ludicolo, because it actually does need a couple of improvements in its stats, and I think it would actually benefit from a Mega Evolution. So, hey, why not give Ludicolo a Mega Evolution? I think it'd be pretty cool. i just name it Fiesta Time. <laughs> <laughs> eh, alright, let's get back. Oh, wait, Lotad could no water gun. Eh, I could have foolishly sent Dylan to his death. Uh, thank God I didn't. All right, go, Loudred. All right, I'm not taking the chance. It's been soundproof. Oh yeah, it tried to go for growl, but my Loudred's ability is soundproof. So, eh, I get eh, stop any sound moves, which includes growl. So nice try. You can't lower my attack, buddy. For the next uh, partner of yours, that's gonna get his butt kicked. Okay, now you've done it. Oh, it's a shroomish. Uh-oh. You shouldn't have done that. Now you've angered Loudred. I tried to... Okay, I'm not going to warn you, Haley. You've done it now. Loudred's angry. See? You can't stop him. See? All that power. You shouldn't have done it. See, this will now teach you never anger the Loudred. Never. Hmm. I shouldn't have battled. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Now you know. Never anger a Loudred. Alright, let's go. Go up here. Oh, we'll get that item later when we get the t HM for cut. Alright, battle me, little girl. And other little girl, because this is a double battle. Twins, Gina and Mia, sent out C Dot and Lotad. Go. Dylan and Loudred. Alright. Ember on the C dot and a pound on the Lotad. Yep. Oh, wow, that didn't get rid of Lotad. That's not good. Hmm. Yep. Eh. And of course I'm gonna change the name of Loudred as soon as I get to the name raider because I am not liking this name. 
Uh, yeah, my brother says they named it well. Oh, please. Yeah, okay, allowed you to use pound. Yep, and that's the end of that. Alright, nice. Well, see, the rich people give out a lot of money when you defeat them, so that was nice. Alright, ooh, cherry berry to cure paralysis. That's nice. Alright, and I know that over here is a lepa berry for uh, PP restoration. So then I'll cut down on my ether use, because ethers are actually hard to come by sometimes in this game, so it's always good to plant and restore and uh, plant and grow lepa berries. Because they are basically walking ethers. Let's see. What Here, I'll share this with you. Oh, I got a Chesto Berry. This uh, awakens my Pokemon. Well, later we're gonna get a little item to help uh, deal with that uh, sleep problem. But that's not gonna be for a while now, so I won't mention it. All right, and this guy is pretty much, I think, all Magikarp. So I'm gonna send out my Gloom to basically absorb them souls and. Have a little. Gonna have a little fish fry. Let's see if I hunch is correct. He should have five. Oh, three Magikarp. My apology. Yep. Here comes Magikarp number one. Oh, level five. <laughs> uh, it's all gonna be snatched. Hmm? That's yeah, splashing. <laughs> Can you imagine if Splash actually did something? It's like, it intimidates your Pokemon to the point that it cannot attack you. Lowers accuracy, and then it deals damage. K.O. Yeah, I highly doubt that. But just imagine if it did do something bad-ass like that. <laughs> then Magikarp would be a very good, but as we all know, it's only good in Gyarados form. As we know, because it's just a floppy thing that they had to add. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that was a bad lag spike. Ugh. Eh, it's okay. Got over it. Alright. Alright, absorb. Yeah. Alright. Hmm, Magikarp. Hmm. Oh wow, my bro my brother almost gained a level by beating all those Magikarp. Oh wow. Ah. Alright, and it looks like I'm in Rustboro City. Alright. Finally, we have reached Rustboro. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to quickly go to the Pokemart right here, buy a couple of Pokeballs. Yeah, they don't sell Great Balls just yet. We have to get a couple of badges, and then they'll sell Great Balls later. But for now, I already have a Great Ball. That's one, and I have 11 Pokeballs, so that's 12. So I'm pretty sure that's enough. But just in case, I'll buy two Pokeballs to make a total of 13. Because I want to conserve my money for later, because I am going to need it for potions and other stuff. All right, how many potions do I got? I've got four. Oh, wow, that's a lot. All right, and how many Super Potions do I got? Eh, uh, one. Okay, I'll buy one more. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. And, yeah. I could buy Repel, but I actually want to battle the wild Pokemon for training purposes, so, yeah. Alright, yeah. Looks like we're going to end the episode now. But, just before I'm going to talk to this guy. And he gives me the HM for cut. Let's see, the limber where you move. Well, train, you skilled trainer. Of course I am. I am skilled. Do you see this? I'm oozing awesomeness. See? Exactly. I get cut. And I already know which Pokemon to teach it to. My Gloom. Yep, it can only be used. It can be used more than once, but I can't get rid of it until I reach the move deleter. And the move deleter is all the way past the sixth gym. So... 
I'm going to have to use my t HMs wisely. But for now, it's not like my, I'm going to let my brother die anytime soon. Uh, and per agreement, I did promise him I'd name him a better Pokemon than a Gloom. So, Gloom's going to be renamed as soon as I reach the name raider. And then my brother's going to be renamed an awesome Pokemon of his choosing that I catch. Which is going to be in the next episode, though. But, yep, my brother learned Cut. And I'm going to go into the Pokemon Center. Yeah. I haven't encountered it yet. Yeah, I know. My brother's right next to me. He's excited to see which buddy it is because he wants to be named something in ASAP. Alright, and looks like we're going to end this episode off here. So, I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in to episode 3 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke uh challenge and don't forget to hit the thumbs up on that like button uh be sure to leave a comment i always appreciate would appreciate you guys giving me feedback on how my series is doing how you enjoy it so far and if there's anything in the game that i miss you can point it out to me because it has been a while since i played this but i've always loved pl replaying some of my favorite games and don't forget hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tell your friends to also hit that subscribe button because I'm also going to upload other videos besides this randomizer. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys next time for episode 4. And, yeah. See you guys next time.